Hi, family. You know, last night I had a dream. I had a dream of a famous person. I'm not going to say their name because I think that's only out of respect for them and myself that I hold what I have to say about them in secret. But I do want to share the dream with you. It is a she. So in my dream, I was speaking with this young lady and she was immediately ready to share how she was feeling. Although it was written all over her face, but she had to add on through the internal, through the external. So I sat there listening to what she had to say and she shared with me this. She says, I am not happy. Although I have all of these fans that idolize and look up to me, all of that is in me is empty. It does not feel me. It does not thrill me. Actually, I wish I was them. The whole opposite of them, how they portray and look up to me. Because if I was them, I have a chance. And I say, wow. She says, I'm too far gone. I can't turn back now. And I'm saying to her quietly, but yet it still was like we're speaking in thoughts, hearing each other verbally through thoughts. And I share with her, I asked her, well, why don't you just give all of this away and turn your ways around and walk with the Lord? She says to me again, it's too far gone. I'm too far gone. I wish that someone would have showed me the way before all of this ever happened. And then there could have been a big difference in my outcome. She said, you see all of these windows? I looked around and noticed as she said that it was windows around us, lots of them, from the ground all the way up. She continued to speak, and as she was speaking, I see the emptiness, the darkness, the eternal grieving that she had still while she was living, but you might as well call it dead. She says, you see these windows? I cannot walk through but a very tiny few, a selective tiny few. So to me, I immediately realized that all of these windows that I'm seeing all around me that she is pointing out, they all have meaning. They all have a subliminal meaning behind them. So as she continued to speak, she says, I am stuck in this place. And so I want to share with you is be careful what you idolize. Be careful of how you want your status quo. Be careful what you are seeking. Because see, I know for me, that's the wrong road to go down. Without God, it's meaningless. If God not paving the way, it's useless. In his word, didn't he always say, 
that he would give us that we pray for through Jesus, our daily bread? Let's read. Let's go to Luke chapter 11, verse 13. If you do not have your Bibles with you, if you have your Bibles with you, I would love for you to go over the scriptures with me. If you do not, this is YouTube. Come on back and read upon your own um, discrepancy. Also, read the word for yourself. Do not take my word. Get understanding and ask for the Holy Spirit for guidance. We're going to read out of Luke chapter 11, verse 13, and it reads, Now Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray. As John taught his disciples, and he said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone who is indebtable to us and lead us not into temptation. And he said to them, which of you who has friends will go to him at midnight and say to him, friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine has arrived on a journey and I have nothing to set before him. And he will answer from within, do not bother me. The door is not shut, is now shut. And my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, though he will not get up and give him anything because he is his friend, yet because his prudence, he will rise and give him whatever he needs. And I tell you, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks it will be opened. What father among you, if his son asks for a fish, will instead of a fish give him a serpent? Or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion. If you then, who are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Amen. Look to God for all things. Trying to receive through the now of this wicked world that we live in. Be careful of what you seek. Be careful what you, the effort you put in into this, this imaginary world. A facade, not the truth. The truth lies with us, within us. That is the Holy Spirit. That God left for us to ignite through his son that paved the way and did it all through his flesh and blood. Stop seeking what this world could give you because I know this for truth. We all want the power, but the power lies in God. See, when Jesus was on his journey, when he had, was, was brought here, he had, a, he had assignment. He had something to do for his father. So he gave up all the power of the glory of heaven. Why? So he could be cardinal. So he could become flesh. So he could become a man and endure it all for us to be. 
Because see, he didn't want to take that chance knowing that if he come and ha if he have the power, then he will want to probably do his father's will. He'll feel that power within himself and feel, I don't have to listen hmm, to what I am instructed to do. I don't have to follow protocol because this power feels good in the flesh, in the now and in the moment. Be careful what you seek, huh? Seek the kingdom of heaven and all will lie upon you. See, God, he has us, listen, we live in the present, right? For a reason. When we exit that yesterday and God wake us up that we allowed to open up our eyes, Lord of glory, hallelujah. And then we open up our eyes and see that the presence that he has given us, and then we should not have no remorse of worrying about in agony what we're going to eat. He promised that in his word that he will what? Take care of us. If I have more than enough, if I have too much, what about my fellow man? What about the fellow man, my sisters and my brothers? Because I have too much. They're going to start idolizing me. They're going to start bowing to me. They're going to start huh, walking behind me, praising me. Who am I to be praised? I cannot give life, nor can I take one. So why do wealth feel that I am God? Isn't he more than that? I'd rather walk in him and receive my daily bread with many thank yous and hallelujahs and more. If I could go to the mountain or the hilltop, that would be a not enough to give my thank yous. Man cannot live off bread alone. Hmm? But what God gives us, we need to start using. The Holy Spirit that he has given us is more than enough. Stop looking for the world of riches hmm, and the kingdom of heaven. Because guess what? We cannot take it with us. Your gravesite, my gravesite, my tombstone ain't gonna say how much my wealth was and how much I was a, a role model in this world for the world. Hmm? Let's get it together. And let's get right church and let's go home and live over our godly daily bread. Stay well, stay prayerful, and until we meet again, 